Hello and welcome to Auto Repair Cloud channel. In this video, you will learn how to use our new feature OBD2 Diagnostic and specifically how to set it up and use it in repair. Keep in mind that the whole range of functionality of this feature is available only in our application for tablets. You can find this application in Google Play and App Store. To begin, let's go to the settings. Select Configuration, then select Technical and OBD2. To work with OBD2 Diagnostic, you will need a special adapter to connect to the car and to display the results of the diagnostics on your device. Below is a list of the recommended adapters. If you are using an Android device, then in order to connect the adapter to the tablet, you will need to turn on the Bluetooth, select the adapter from the list of the detected devices, and if needed, to enter the password provided with the documentation at the time of purchase. Now, your tablet and the adapter are paired. If you are using an iOS device, simply turn on the Bluetooth. Now back to the attachment. Click the Search OBD Devices button. Activate the default switch located in front of the required adapter. Wait for the message indicating the successful connection. Using the graph below, you can set up the templates for OBD2 diagnostics in Auto Repair Cloud. You are now ready to perform the diagnostics. There are five OBD2 diagnostics in the Auto Repair Cloud, and namely Freeze Frame, Snapshot, Live Data, Smog Check, and Trouble Codes. Let's discuss every one of them. Select Diagnostics under the Type submenu in the drop-down list on the Repair page, then click the blue Inspection button. You will see a list of the accessible inspection templates, including OBD2 templates mentioned earlier. Select the required template and you will be transferred to the Diagnostics page. First, let's discuss the freeze frame. Press the Retake data and you will receive all data about the car's condition which have been recorded in the car computer memory at the time when the error occurred. For example, an error in the performance of the car's system occurred and the check engine light was activated on the dashboard. At this moment, the car computer memory records the indications of different sensors such as temperature sensor, pressure sensor, as well as the other system values such as voltage, rotations per minute, and etc. Freeze frame will display the same data until the malfunction is fixed and the error will be removed with the help of the attachment. Snapshot This type of diagnostics is similar to the freeze frame, except that after pressing the Retake Data button, you will receive all the data about the car's condition at the current moment. Every time you press the Retake Data button, you will receive system measurements taken at the moment of pressing the button. Live Data Select up to five system measurements you are interested in, press the Measure button and watch how they change in the graph in real time. You can start the recording of this graph by pressing the record button and save it by stopping the recording and by pressing the save button. Click on a dot within the graph to see the measurements recorded at the required moment of time. During the recording, you can take a snapshot in order to receive all measurements of the current moment. To do this, press the corresponding button. To watch, save the recording, click on the green space in the graph, and the snapshot page with all the measurements will open up. Smog check. This diagnostics allows you to see if the car is ready for the emissions test. 
Click the Retake Data button to retrieve the data. The summary will be on the left, indicating how many monitors are available in the system to perform the testing and if they have passed the test. At the right side of the chart, you can see the entire list of components, their availability in the system, and their readiness. Trouble codes is the last OBD2 diagnostics. Press Retake Data to see the vehicle's malfunction codes, their descriptions, symptoms, causes, and the ways to fix them. You can also delete them from the computer memory by clicking Clean and Retake. However, if the vehicle's system detects the malfunction, the error code will be displayed again. You can add notes to each diagnostics. Print and download the results of the diagnostics in PDF format, except live data and trouble codes. You can also look through the history of all diagnostics of the customer's selected vehicle. You can do this from any of the diagnostics by pressing the History button, or press the corresponding button in the upper left corner from the repair page. You can also see the results of all diagnostics using our web application at autorepaircloud.com. We hope that this innovation will help you to improve your business even better.